cannot navigate through the end time storms if you don't go back to the place of prayer. So the secret place of the Most High is the place of prayer. Go to 2 Thessalonians 1.6. Bishop, quickly, 2 Thessalonians 1.6. Seeing, seeing it is the righteous thing with God. To recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. So, this is New Testament. This is not Old Testament. Sometimes, some of you, anytime you look at me, you say, hey, David's brother. He's come again. Every time he wants to kill. I don't want to kill anybody. It's a simple thing. You trouble me, the Lord trouble you. Simple. I'm minding my own business. You try to cross me, you will not go unpunished. Amen. Give me, Bishop, give me Psalm 62 verse 3. Psalm 62 verse 3. How long will you imagine mischief against a man? Uh -huh. Tell to someone, say, how long? How long? Tell somebody, why? 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 How, long? how long? Until something happens to them, they will not leave us alone. But let the sword of the Lord go after them. In the name of Jesus. Wherever they are hiding, let the sword of vengeance and judgment pursue them locate discover and strike them down read it how long will you imagine mischief against a man you mm -hmm. shall be slain all of you uh -huh. all of them let all of them be slain <laughs> let not one among them go unpunished before they cross our path let the sword of the lord slay them in the name of jesus are you hearing me somebody all those who are seeking our blood our life and our children and our loved ones every one of them will go before us we send them ahead let them go ahead let them go 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 we send them ahead finish finish as a bowing wall shall ye be yes. and as a tottering fence the only consult is for now look at verse 4 the only consult to cast him down from his excellence so so all of this eh, is to bring you down oh, yes. that's all they don't like the fact that somebody was talking to me the other day and he was talking about a man of God that says that as for, as for that papa, I, I won't allow him to have more members and more money than me. And I said, what does that have to do with me? Everybody is working in their lane. I'm working in my lane. Why are you worried about me having more people than you? Why are you worried about me having more money than you? And I said, in the name of Jesus, because he said that with his mouth, let him be deprived and denied of such in the name of Jesus. And let him lose whatever he has. And let him not see the light of day because he was envious and jealous of somebody else. Say, I hear you. Go back to 62, 3. Three, how long will you imagine mischief against a man? Mm -hmm. You shall be slain, all of you. Lift up your hands. Say, any group of individuals, home and abroad, domestic and external, who for many years have devised mischief and evil against me, my house, and this house, and my nation let them be slain all of them home and abroad let them not go unpunished oh god of my vengeance put your hands up pray that prayer You have to push it. Stop being nice. Let the Lord trouble them that for so long a time have devised mischief against us and our house. Let them all be slain. Be slain.
your prayers are too weak. I can't hear you. Your prayers are too weak. Let it come out of your belly. Be angry. Be angry. Now, now, quickly, give me Genesis 49, 17. Let's see what is there. 49, 17. Uh -huh. Dan, Dan shall be a serpent by the way. By the way. By and the way. Adder in the path. Paluka do la sata. That biteth the horse's heel. Ayali katawala has. So that his rider shall fall backward. Any serpent that has been positioned in our way, any snake that has been released in our path and in our way. Now watch this. The interesting thing about this scripture is this. Watch this. The serpent or the snake did not go for the rider. It went for the horse. And the horse here signifies your divine helpers. The plan here is leave the rider the divine helpers when you attack those God have positioned to help them it will set them back and they can't move forward the Bible said give and it shall be given good measure press down shaking together running over shall who shall who he said release snakes to go and bite the man that will give to his bosom so when the men that will give to his bosom are beaten by the snake and poisoned by the snake the blessings and the harvest that must come to their bosom will be denied it will not come and that is how the enemy has set back so many people Bishop James was telling us about a true story that happened of a young man that sought for a visa to go to America for many years it never happened through his brother in America, he got a breakthrough, he got a visa, he arrived in the US at JFK. When he got to JFK, they took his passport, going through the visa, they saw the grandmother's picture. Now I'm not saying there's a problem with your grandmother, so don't go and tell your grandmother, Papa said, I haven't said anything. Me too, I've had grandmothers, amen? My grandmother and I were very tight. Even though she wasn't born again, we were very tight. We love each other. By the wayside, let's move on. So, when they saw his passport, the picture in his passport was the grandmother. So the immigration officer asked him, who is this picture? He said, my grandmother. Then he said, but what is your grandmother's picture doing in your passport? He said, I don't understand. I don't know why. And he said, but they shouldn't have given you the visa because it's your grandmother's picture. He said, no, 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 no. It was my picture I took to the embassy and they gave me the visa. The immigration officer said, well, I'm sorry. There's something wrong. We can't allow you to enter the United States. So they deported him. The guy almost went off. He was going to take his life and Bishop James was on a radio program preaching and said, don't take your life, don't take your life. And he called him and Bishop James said, come quickly. So he, he went to the radio station where Bishop James was, told the story and they prayed for him. Do you know what happened? The brother that tried to help him to bring him to America, after that incident, the brother suddenly died. And I was telling them at Dominion Hour that sometimes, even me, when it comes to helping certain people, I have to really fight and override some things to, to help them. It's not that I can't help them. Either I forget or for whatever reason, it's like something is preventing me from doing the right thing. Something doesn't want me to help them. Lift up your hands. Any snake, any serpent, any beast, any curse, any programming, they've set on your way to stop your divine helpers, to poison your divine helpers, 
to prevent your divine helpers from helping you in order to set you back. Today, we intercept and abort. Intercept and abort. Put your hands together. Intercept, abort the assignment of the snake, the serpent. I can't hear you. Somebody, get mad, get angry. Now, I want us to pray, to release, to deliver, and to preserve your divine helpers. There was a situation of an individual who had a, a particular illness, and there was only one person, a doctor, especially in a particular field, who could help him. By the time he got there, that only person who had the expertise and the skill to deliver and rescue him had for whatever reason suddenly had a crisis situation and had traveled and left town and wasn't going to come for about a month or two. Maduka Dika Lassat. Let our divine helpers be delivered. Let our divine helpers be preserved. Let our divine helpers escape the bite of the snake in the way. Put your hands up. Pray that prayer. Secure your divine helpers. Command the deliverance. Preservation of your divine helpers. Somebody put your hands together. Open your mouth. Rescue your divine helpers. Command their deliverance. Release them. Command their preservation. Put your hands together. Whoever they are. Wherever they are. Let them be preserved and delivered. Preserved. Delivered. Rescued. Right now. Put your hands together. Push it, push it, push it for a minute, push it for a minute, push it for a minute. I can't hear you, I can't hear you. You are being too nice, too diplomatic, too political. Stop being political, stop being diplomatic. Open your mouth, put your hands together, secure your divine helpers. I secure my divine helpers and that of my children the divine helpers of my children. I secure them. I command their deliverance. I command their release. Their escape. Let them be rescued. 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 In the name of Jesus. Rescued. Now hear me. Hear me. Go beyond yourself. Eh? Pray one more prayer. Go beyond yourself. Pray for the deliverance of the divine helpers of your children. And of your loved ones. Because you never know whom your children will need. And God has positioned a divine helper somewhere. But this enemy we are dealing with is a serpent. It's a snake. Let 
the divine helpers of your children and of your loved ones be preserved. Let them be rescued. Let them be delivered in the air, on land and on water. Put your hands God. Pray that prayer right now. Put your hands together open your mouth don't just stand there don't stand there like that this is a very serious thing we are doing this is no joke you will need this one day you may not need it now but one day you will lift it up lift up prayer lift it up lift it up now hear me Hear me. One more prayer. You see, when they put Joseph in the pit, they left him there to die. And Joseph was to die. They were going to leave him there in the pit. No air. Nothing. And the Ishmaelites came and they sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites. That was what delivered him out of the pit. The Ishmaelites here was Joseph's deliverance. The Ishmaelites were his divine helpers. God sent the Ishmaelites to pull him out of the pit. Any group of people and anyone, God has appointed them position to bring us out of the pit, to pull your children and loved one out of the pit, to rescue them in the name of Jesus, wherever they are, we release them. We lose them to come. We compel them to come. And we command them to be on time, on time, on time. Put your hands together, on time, on time rescue, on timing deliverance, on time, on time. Open your mouth, on time. They will not come before time. They won't be here when it's too late. They will be on time. Command your helpers to be on time. Command your helpers to be on time. Declare, my helpers will come on time. The helpers of my children, my loved ones, they will be on time. Let them be on time. Let them be on time. On time. On time. Put your hands God. Let them be on time. Hear me. Lift it up. Lift it up. Say I declare. Before heaven and earth. By the blood of my my covenant, by the blood of my covenant, that my divine helpers and the divine helpers of my loved ones and of my children, my house and this house and my nation, they will be on time. Say I announce before heaven and earth that my divine helpers will be on time. If you believe it, put your hands together and declare it. Declare it. Let them be on time. They will be on time. Yeah, they will not be delayed. They will not be delayed. There will not be any delays or interference. In the name of Jesus, of the coming forth of my divine helpers, the divine helpers of this house and of this nation, let them be on time. Let them be on time. Put your hands together and announce they will be on time. They will be on time. It's important you announce this thing. Put your hands together. Stop playing politics. Stop being diplomatic. Stop being politically correct. Put your hands together and announce it. salat. kawasan. Kifan kulan. We am kuluku sun to kadim. De la hanga katan. Kawala ki to kun ni kasalan. Me falan du kawalia san. Ke sutu kilia. Now. Now. Go to. Go to Isaiah 49. Give me verse 26. Give me 26. Anyone that is seeking our blood. Let them be drunk with their own blood. 
Ah, our blood will not be shared like that of Abel. And anyone that seek our flesh, let them be fed with their own flesh. Go ahead, Bishop. And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh. Yes, sir. And they shall be drunken with their own blood. Yes, sir. As with sweet wine. Madaku. And all flesh shall know Malika that I am the Lord. Lakasi. I'm thy savior hey. and thy redeemer. Malika the tu. mighty one Akitu of Israel. Lakasala. Lift up your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. Anyone, anywhere seeking my blood and my flesh and the blood and flesh of my loved ones and of my children home and abroad say whoever they are wherever they are in the heavens above on the earth or the earth beneath or the regions of the sea or the rocks the mountains the valleys the hills say whoever they are and whatever powers they are working with and operating with i declare by the efficacy of the superior blood of the lamb let them be fed with their own flesh drunk with their own blood that seek and desire my blood and that of my loved ones and family put your hands together announce it announce it announce make an announcement don't be politically correct don't play with this thing don't just stand there and be looking at me make this announcement you will need it tomorrow it will work for you tomorrow i'm telling you open your mouth put your hands together make an announcement that i announce before heaven and earth by the word of the lord that whoever seek desire and want my flesh my blood and that of my loved ones and my seed home and abroad domestic and external i announce before the lord and hell that they will be drunk with their own blood fed with their own flesh that seek desire and want and demand for my blood and the blood of my seed and my loved ones and this house home and abroad put it together shout it scream it declare it Now, last scripture, give me Esther chapter 7 verse 10. Esther chapter 7 verse 10, Bishop. So they hung Haman on the gallows that he had prepared for Mordecai. Then was the king's wrath passive. Lift up your right hand. Say, anyone that has prepared a gallows to hang me and my loved one and this house and my nation on it, in the name of Jesus, let them be hanged on their own gallows now give me some 141 verse 10 some 141 verse 10 quickly madu sadika do galasit yes sir NIV. Go ahead. niv niv give me niv quickly yes sir let the wicked fall into their own nets uh -huh. while i pass by in safety anyone that have set a net for us from now to the end of 2024 whatever the net is whatever the net is coming from through land, water, air, or food, or drink. In the name of Jesus, let them fall into their own net. Let them be hung on their own gallows. Put your hands together. Announce it. Make a divine announcement, a divine proclamation that I proclaim before heaven and earth in the name of Jesus to the hearing of enemies, known and unknown, friends. It doesn't matter who you are. Hear ye the word of the Lord. That have set a gallows for me, my house, and my loved one, and my seed, and this house, you shall be hung on that same gallows. And anyone that have set a trap, a trap, a trap, a tent for me, and my house, and this house, and my nation, into that very head, you shall fall, and I'll pass by in safety to the end of this year and beyond. Put your hands together, make the announcement. Say it. Say something. Don't stand there. Say something. Open your mouth. Say something. Madukali Kadalas. Bagandula Gawasa. Elita Kunda Kasalin. Imahandula. Awalandu Kasalima. Imangi Dalu Kasalan. Filanduka. Isalan. Weyan. Kowansi Kadun. Dikalin. Elindu Kasalama. 
Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Yes, sir. Jesus, Jesus. Abounding in era, Jesus. Fair man in the castle your Lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. Me team pecha for Jesus. And by Potiefu, Jesus. Me free my commando. Me cast a woo your ride. Me say to you are, every head's bowed, everybody praying. If you are here, and whatever you are hearing the sound of my voice, you don't have the assurance of salvation and eternal life. You are not sure your name is written in the book of life. And you want to settle this issue today. You want to settle it. You want to make peace with your creator. And you say, preacher, please pray with me. I want to settle this matter today. I want my name written in the book of life. Wherever you are, whoever you are, as every head's by, every eye closed, 
Please lift up your right hand. Let me pray with you quickly. Anybody here? I want to make peace with my creator. Just lift up your right hand. We are here to help you. Nothing to be ashamed and embarrassed of. It's a decision you must make. For it is appointed unto man once to die and after judgment. Once to die and after judgment. You must be ready for that day. If you are not sure you are ready, please lift up your right hand. Let me pray for you. If your hand is lifted up, come to me at the front. Let's pray. Quickly come. Please come now. If you must come, come. Is there anybody coming? Everybody pray, 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 pray. Lose, lose them. Lose the children of God. Lose them. Church pray. Lose them from shame, embarrassment. Lose them from deception, from the veil. Lose them in the name of Jesus. From spells, lose them. From bewitchment, lose them. Lose God's children. Command the angels to go forth and release them. Angels sent to those who shall become the heads of salvation. Ye his angels that excel in strength. That obey his command. That do his command. Hacking to the voice of his word. Go around. Influence. Bring them forth. Bring them out. Bring those who are been appointed to become heads of salvation. You are assigned to them. Release them to come now. Compel them to come. Ye his angels. Compel them to come. Cause them to come forth now. Hacking to the voice of his word. In the name of Jesus, everybody lift up your right hand. Say with me, Heavenly Father, today I acknowledge Jesus as Lord and Savior of my life. I give you my life, Lord Jesus. Write my name in the book of life. Cleanse me. Wash me. With your blood, seal me with the Holy Spirit against the day of redemption. I don't want to go to hell. Take my name out of the book of death and out of hell. Register my name in the book of life and in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. To fear, for I am the child of God. If you believe that all across the nations, put your hands together and give him praise that you are no longer a slave to fear, but a child of the living God. Put your hands together, scream and give him praise. Say with my hands lifted up, I declare. That is low energy. Say with my hands lifted up. I declare with spiritual audacity that I am no longer a slave to fear because I am a child of God. I'm redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I am the redeemer of the Lord. Today I break loose from the shackles of fear for it is written Naphtali Naphtali is a deer let loose in the name of Jesus I break my soul free I break my faith loose I break myself loose from the grip of fear for I am the child of God Put your hands together and make those declarations right now. Breaking loose, breaking free from the shackle of fear. I am the child of God. I am a child of God in the name of Jesus. Now lift up your hands. Say, I have come, Heavenly Father, from different works of life from different backgrounds and upbringing for a new experience that I may encounter you in a new and a living way like never before. In the name of Jesus, 
I break through. I break through the fortress and the defenses of the enemy. And I declare, let every adversary be disarmed, dispossessed, disinherited of their trusted weapons right now in the name of Jesus. As I put my hands together, let every enemy, let every adversary, known and unknown, be dispossessed, disarmed, disinherited of their trusted weapon in the name of Jesus, home and abroad, domestic and external, by air, by land, by water. Let them be dispossessed, disarmed, disinherited by their trusted weapon in the name of Jesus. Now, lift up your hands. Say, Heavenly Father, I obtain and receive light Illumination, revelation, for it is written, the entrance of thy word, give it light and understanding to the simple. It is written again, the Lord is my light and my salvation, of whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? In the name of Jesus, say I receive illumination, revelation, light, light. Say in the name of Jesus, I expel the darkness. I expel every darkness over my life, over my family, over this house, over my nation. I expel every darkness in the name of Jesus. As I put my hands, I expel, 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 expel every darkness, every cloud of darkness over your life, your family, your dwellings. Your journeys, your travels, your movement by land, by air, by water. We expel every cloud of darkness. Intercept, intercept the workings of the enemy. Bind the enemy. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lift up your hands. Modaki Somada. Talk to the Father for one minute in other tongues. Dila kusi malasa, salafanda kuwa hasalias, letu kuda kisi malas, mileki tu kawanda sit, deleki tu kam fakandi liki salatan, fulang kawan sima, eye du kutu kandi bas, pola kitu waka sant, le katunda kasalaman, di kanti kafan, we silence the enemy. We shut them out of the enemy. Shut them out of the beast. Shut them out of lions. Shut them out of diviners. Silence their incantations. Silence their divination. Silence their enchantment. Silence the cry of their altars. Bind their covenants. Negate and all their covenant, their curses. Declare that we are curse breakers. Run through troops. And all their imaginations call their counsel in the name of Jesus and mischief to a halt. Let them be disappointed and put to shame. That divides the head of your people and the peace of our country. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Divide their tongues, O oh Lord. Divide their tongues. Make foolish. Make foolish and useless of their schemes and their wisdom. Frustrate the tokens of liars. Make diviners mad. Turn the wise backwards. Turn their knowledge into foolishness. Show them, O oh Lord, that thou art God, that thou art God. Maleki tu kalasa, salanda kasunti kavaya. O sikata, frustrate the tokens of liars. Make diviners mad. Turn the wise backwards. Oh, make their knowledge foolish. Meliki tu kadila san, ki wanta kunda salaman, se falanda kutan, ki wansi kalundi kisa. In the name of Jesus, put your hands together, give him praise. That is low energy club offering. I pray that any claim and demand that has been made on anyone hearing me, 
or any one of your sons and your daughters, grandchildren and loved ones, home and abroad, in the name of Jesus, let it be aborted. Let it be aborted. Let it be disappointed. Put your hands and say, I'm disappointed, 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 disappointed. In the name of Jesus, let it be disappointed. Say amen. I was talking to Bishop Oboda and he was telling us about one of the young men. He used to be here and he went to school at Cape Coast. Bishop, tell us what happened with that guy. Yeah, um, he was in school on campus as usual. The rest of the group wanted to go to the beach, but he decided he was not going. But so he stayed in his room. But somewhere along the line, he had a strong urge to go to the beach. So he went to the beach. When he got there, the secretary was drowning, swimming and drowning, and he decided to jump to rescue, and then he died. And the lady rather made it. Hear me. That was an accident. An accident. It was a programming. It was a calculation. Yes. The lady, he went to rescue, survive. Where were the others? How come he was the only one who jumped in to rescue her? And how come she wasn't drowning before he got there? Somebody say calculation. Somebody say programming. And then he said he had an edge. Tell somebody, be careful of your compassion. Be careful of your compassion. You know, a lot has happened to me over the years. And I've learned a lot. That in this life, eh? Emotional decisions are very dangerous. Yes, and I've learned by experience over the years that it's not everybody you help in this life. Yes. And it's not everybody you allow to come into your house. So much has happened to me and to my own children over the years because of certain individuals that are allowed to come in that shouldn't have come in. And it was later I realized that they weren't supposed to come into my life or my family because they were sent. They were on assignment to come and destroy. But in the name of Jesus, I pray that anyone known or unknown in your life, within your walls and in your family, that have been sent to carry out Satan's plan for your life and your family, your children, your wife, your husband, your marriage, your children, your grandchildren, let such a one be uncovered. Let them be uncovered, exposed, uprooted put your hands together uncover expose uproot them pray that prayer i can't hear you you are being too nice the enemy don't play fair open your mouth make declarations put your hands together uncover them those undercover agents there are undercover agents in our lives in the life of our children and grandchildren and loved ones there are undercover agents within our walls in our businesses in our businesses in our churches every undercover agent we blow their cover we uncover them we expose them in the name of jesus we uproot them we expel them expel 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 in the name of jesus we expel them say yes you know, it's not everybody you help. Oh. Yeah. There are some people, you help them and it, it, it's a trouble. You help them and it's a setup. So somebody said, what do I do? For as many as are led by the Spirit of God are the mature sons of God. And that's why we must cultivate the attitude of being driven, being led, and being directed by the Spirit of God. I'm telling you, sometimes I realize that one of my greatest failure in life is my compassion and my sympathy. Yeah. That when that compassion and sympathy kicks in, it's like I won't listen to anything. And there are people I have helped that I should have never helped. Hey, do like a son. Katendu kawasan belu kufun di kalum dasalan wahandu kasin 
Litu ku wala sindi kapasan Mutlaya kasundi fasan May the blood of Jesus intervene for me ah, To make a difference Born to survive Born to be a survivor Born to be a game changer Born to be a test breaker Born to survive Me and my house Born to live Born to survive Born to last Born to be a test breaker Born to be a game changer In the name of Jesus Lift up your hands I will worship you Yeah Lift you up The air And the air Lift you high above the earth, lift you high above the earth and the heavens. You are the Lift it up, lift it up, tell him you are Lord. See the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Halula, Hawala, Selaka Fan, Biwun to Kalimitan, Kewan Silai Tikanu. Announce it, announce it. Make no mistake. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Put your hands together and announce it. Make, an, make a divine announcement. Oh, my enemies, make no mistake. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Lakusalan kadun da wan deven du kundu san ki wan tu kanda la sada. Amen. We need to go back to the place of prayer. You cannot navigate through the end time storms if you don't go back to the place of prayer. So the secret place of the Most High. The place 